all right guys uh another series today again as you guys been follow following up the other part of this uh series and uh this is the midnight solar combiner box and uh this is the the one i'm dealing with here we have different ones the mnpv2 that's 1000 mnpv4 1000 and mnpv12 so these are two breakers the first is two breakers these are the four and the 12 breakers and this is the six breakers and two for 250 volt this is the one i'm operating on this uh, mnpv6 250 so these are the breakers that come you guys have seen on the other video and um, look at it okay for the 250 right there for midnight classic 200 and 250 and guys uh, today's video I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box and uh, show you how these breakers are all aligned to the box stay tuned Okay. All right. Here we go. We took the front uh, panel, and uh, we gotta take this one out. Open this, and I'm gonna be showing you. This is where the din rail, where the brick is gonna sit, like this. Slide them right, right there. Snap. There we go. This is how you go about it. So you're gonna line up about three, three of them. All right. All right, guys. I already got this. Open up and uh, let's open up this guy and see the blades, bus bars. All right, guys. Uh, this is the blade I'm talking about, and that's the nut that goes right here on this hole. On this hold, hold. And it sticks right there, you know. So let me take it out and show you guys and see exactly what I'm talking about. How you go about installing a Midnight Classic MNPV6 250. Live here at JW Solo USA. Stay tuned for more to come from this channel. And I'm going to be giving you all the updates and... Uh, how these things work guys see like a square this one sits right there you have this little uh, nut a bolt sorry you gotta take this one off and screw this one all the way down with this guy right here stay tuned all right guys if you look at it keenly this um, stud right here it tells you take a a 14 to 2 slash 0 cable to fit on that thing so we can put a big cable for a lot of amps all right so you take this guy and stick it right here and flip this thing over okay and take this little nut or bolt or screw call it and uh, screw it all the way in all right so screw it all the way in make sure it sits the way you want it correspond right and uh, tighten up this guy right here okay now center center and uh give it a little bit okay it's already in so now i just want to demonstrate and take this guy right here okay you can stick this guy breaker this one 
see you got all these guy sitting here so this is how you go about it look at these breakers down here like I was saying yesterday on the other video um, you the 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 inputs get uh, parallel right here so they put a copper to jump the two bottoms here just like this ones here this holes where you can insert the cable so it's already done down here so you can even take these plates if you want to but it's gonna be like a single breaker so now they want to use these two breakers in one to be as a just one breaker okay so this is what is happening here since it's already parallel here it's already bridge or jump to this thing and look what happened here so you end up with two holes so you don't have to put these prongs here don't have to go boss but I don't have to go on each hole here so since here is already like parallel here so you can just put this thing right here so one of them is going to enter on each hole so you see that so you're skipping I hope you can see that because of the light um, you skip in one hole see that let me take it out so it's four holes here so one and one like you jump in one hole because they're all parallel now it's all the same so see that so it's connected becomes like this side become one already connected so you can take another one and add or you can end up buying other ones that has a lot of legs that are MN whatever that takes the eight or whatever but guys breakers are beefy <laughs> really big so attach this guy here and get them all in this way stay tuned let me screw it up screw everything up and get back to you all right guys i meant after screwing in no screw up screw it in everything this is how it looks like so we have these guys 15 15 15 so you're talking about 45 amps in this plate at 300 250 to 300 volt so this is everything is already in you can see the way i handle that so this is where the wire comes in to go to your charge controller or whatever or maybe coming from the solar panels and this is the one traveling all the way back to your charge controller inside your shed or your house or whatever your panels are sitting if this were attached to your um, your pv this is how it's gonna be this one old boss bar parallel the entire uh three strings that you bringing in from different uh how many panels you have into each string to come to one breaker one breaker one breaker so they, they all fit in here it's already see there's a a gold plated here it's already set up um to parallel them so you can hook one wire here doesn't matter pause you need whatever here you can hook up one wire one wire one wire one wire so you see so make sure it's already in and you would have a beefy cable coming from here going to your charge controller okay so let's put it in and see how everything looks like live here at a jw solo usa and thanks for watching